We created the Pitcher Inventory Control System in response to several of our customers' requests for Pitcher Inventories. The customers found the traditional system of inventory difficult to read and needed an easier way to determine what they had in storage. The new system now allows for customers to log on to a secured website and view their items and locations in a searchable online database. We have found that customers that have used the system now have better control of their item inventories, as well as the creation of a new revenue stream for the additional services rendered. There are three pieces of equipment used in the Pitcher Inventory Control System. First is an ordinary cell phone. This particular application is designed to work off a window-based phone. In development are applications designed to be used on the iPhone as well as the Android platform. Second, it is paired with a mobile Bluetooth scanner. And third, it is paired with a mobile Bluetooth printer. This particular printer prints in a 4.5 inch format. 8.5 by 11 inch formats are also available. The first step in using the Picture Inventory Control System is to enter the data into the web interface. The web interface allows the user to set up a work order and to transmit that work order to the appropriate driver. The web interface can be customized to include any information needed to complete a work order. In this particular case, we will be adding the information needed to complete an interstate inventory. First, we will enter in the customer's name. And next, we will enter in the order's registration number. And because we are doing an inventory, we can request a signature of the customer. And finally, we can attach any forms that we wish to be sent along with the driver. These forms can be printed up on site. Next, it's time to assign a driver. In this case, we'll be assigning Ashton Daly. And then we hit Create. At this point, all the work order information and attached forms are being sent directly to the driver's mobile device. As soon as the driver logs onto his device, he will see all pending work orders as well as any information attached to those work orders. The driver can now access their pending work orders by opening the application on their mobile device. Each driver has their own specific logon, and each driver has access to only the work orders assigned to them. From the startup screen, we see notification of all pending work orders. We simply click on the notification, and we have access to all pending work orders as well as the corresponding dates. To access a work order, simply click on it, and we see all the information entered in from the web interface. Here we have registration number, van number, lot number, as well as information for the driver to fill out, such as tape color of the inventory stickers. Here we see in red that signatures are required of both carrier as well as customer, and information regarding the origin and destination address. At this point we can begin to inventory. The driver can now assign a lot number, and enter in the color of label or tape you'll be using to designate each item. From the mobile device, we open the menu tab and choose the inventory option from the drop-down list. Next, since we'll be transporting the items to be inventoried, we choose Pickup. This allows us to not only store the information in the database of the items, but also allows us to track the item's location. If we were to choose the drop-off option, item scan would be notated as being delivered. We are now ready to scan. Each item to be inventoried will be given a barcode label. Item scan now appears in the inventory list. Data such as pictures of the items and descriptive text can now be added to the database. Simply choose an item from the list and click Photo Attachment. At this time, we can choose to add descriptive text. We simply click on Create a Text Note, and in the open fields, we can add item's description, as well as record the condition of the item. In current development are drop-down fields in order to help expedite this process. In order to complete our photo inventory, we need to collect customer and driver signature as specified in the initial work order. Simply click on the customer signature and sign on the screen. 
The driver can now sign and scroll down to save the work order. Once the work order is saved, the inventory is now complete and all data including the photo attachments are automatically downloaded into the online searchable database. The completed inventory is now ready to be printed. All items and conditions have been recorded. We scroll down to the menu tab and click forms. As set up in the initial work order, an inventory form is attached. Simply hit print and it is sent to the mobile Bluetooth printer. We now have a hard copy of the inventory to present to the customer. All data fields and descriptions as well as the signatures and customer information are recorded on the forms. All items as well as photo attachments are now stored in a secured online database. The online database is searchable by item number, item description, and location. All photos of inventory items are now available for viewing.